What is going on you guys? Demonic Ducky here giving you guys episode six of the new episode seven of the New York Rangers BAGM mode. We are about to enter season two with our GM mode. We did just get done with the draft, which we did pick up some good players in the draft. We got Dylan Strom. Tom no my bad, we did not get Dylan Strom, we got Thomas Kanechi. I should know this, I just made the other video like 30 seconds ago. Thomas Kanechi, Blake Clark. Joe Fleshler and quite a few other players. Anyways, we are in the resign era. I did not want the other video to run too long. That's why I went ahead and put these in two different ones. We do have some people whose contracts will be ended, like Keith Yandel and Dan Boyle, which we were probably gonna resign both of them due to Dan Boyle actually had a pretty good season. Carl Hagelin, we will resign him. Clef Baum. Which we just picked him up in the draft along with Stemniak. We did pick up quite a few players in the draft and we did say goodbye to a lot of players. Such as Matt Zuccarello, Chris Kreider, and sorts. Let's take a look at everyone we have to reassign. Rick Nash is good for quite a while. Rick Nash's contract track. Rick Nash's contract is huge. Seven million for only two more years. We're gonna if he doesn't put up goal scoring we're gonna sign into something a lot lower than that anyways we do have a lot of cap space we got about 21 million dollars worth of cap space which should be really really good due to we have a lot of young players not that many people need a contract to be signed Danny Crisco Klingberg Miller Jesper Fast so we do have some players who do need a contract and some players who we will get entry contracts to, like Lo Lauren. Co Geez, 59 overall. Let's look at. Let's see our brand new. Let's see our brand new drafted players. See how they are. All right, let's throw my highest overall. All right, we've had him for about a year. Let's see, Blake Clark, 63 overall, 18 years old, not bad. Thomas Connection, 63 years old, my bad, 63 overall, 18 years old. Lauren Krause, I'm hoping he will improve better, he should. 59 overall, overall, 18 years old. Now, we're going to give them all contracts. Most likely, some of them are going to be, most of all of them are going to be playing in the AHL for this season. Joe Fleshler is a 65 overall. He's exactly where I thought he was going to be. So he will be our AHL starter for this season. That way he can get some experience up. And then eventually he can come back up Hendrick Lundquist. He does not have the experience to back up Hendrick Lundquist yet. But that will be fine. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into re-signing people. Let's check out our main roster. This is where we want to look. Make sure our players... Alright, fine, let's sort by overall. That way we can see who's all fine. Ryan McDonough, Rick Nash, Mark Stahl. Maybe some more overalls hopped up. But mainly the big jump is in the sim from free agency up to normal season. Ooh, Derek Stepan, we do want to sign him. We gotta offer him a contract. What does he want? Jeez, he wants a lot. Derek Stepan, since he's young, we're going to try to grab him for quite a few years. Not that many years. We're going to try to grab him for four years for just a little bit more money. On a one-way contract, he's not interested in two-way. Due to, he did have an amazing season when it came to scoring. So we do want to keep him for another four years and watch him progress even farther. Either he goes up or down from here, he is at medium potential. Hopefully he will be going up. Let's offer him that contract. He'll get back to us tonight about that offer. Carl Haglin. We, we will see how much he wants. Okay, is it reasonable? We don't really want to give him that much due to he's a second liner. He could be playing first liner. Depend. We do want some cap space though. For free agency right now we have tons and tons of cap space. Let's see if Carl Haglin, since he's young as well. We'll give him. 
We'll give him a five year deal. Since he's young. He's he's about the same age as Derek Stepan, so we're offering him about the same contract. Five years apiece. We keep them both in here together. Maybe they can progress together. Lean Stemiak, he's I, we just grabbed him to get a draft pick. I don't know if we will keep him or not. Danny Crisco, I do want to keep him in the AHL. Jesper Fast, that's who I was looking for. We do want to sign Jesper Fast. Offer contract. Let's give him a four-year contract for seven million. Because I do believe Jesper Fast will improve to be about a good maybe third liner second liner tops i don't see him improving beyond the second line but he could be the future for us so we do want to make sure we grab him who else do we want to make sure we grab we will sign our newly acquired skaters pretty soon let's go ahead and give uh oscar lindberger contract he he wants to be in the NHL. He does not want to be. He is interested in a two-way contract. So we're going to give him a two-way contract. He does not want. Wow. He doesn't want to be on our team for very long. Oh, it's because it's an entry-level contract, I guess. We'll go ahead and give him exactly what he wants for about three years. And see if he will take it. Hopefully he'll take it. Now Danny Crisco. I have not yet decided on him. Lean Stemniak. We're going to wait and see how this unfolds before we sign him. JT Miller. Right? We do want to grab JT Miller for quite a while. JT Miller will progress to be a first liner, I believe. He's 22 years old at 81 overall. He will be a future first liner for us. But we do not want to pay him like a first liner now. Let's go ahead and snag him for a five year deal. Thirty seven point two five million. Actually let's go ahead and give him let's see if we'll take thirty five. He does not want a two way contract, so he will be he will be on our main roster for sure. We do want to give Casca no, we don't want to give Costco. Where is uh, Oscar Lindbergh? That's who we just got. Trying to make sure. Let's go ahead and give our rookies Thomas Konechi. We'll go ahead and give them entry level. We'll go ahead and give them their entry level contracts. Let's go to. Blake Clark, we'll give him his entry level contract. And we'll give Lauren Lawson Krause his, I butchered his name right there, but we're going to give him his entry level contract as well. That way they can progress and become the future of our franchise. Let's check our goalies. Andrew Clunquist should be fine for quite a while. By then, he'll we start to progress downward in his overall. We do want to give Joe Fleschler a contract. Entry level contract as well. Now. Now, here comes the part where we have to release a goalie. We will release. He's not bad at all. Really, I don't see any goalies we could release. We could use them all eventually. Defense. Let's go ahead and let's go ahead and sim through today to see where this gets us. advanced day 
Alright, we should get some contracts going. Hopefully everybody accepted their contracts. I believe they will. Nice, yes per fast, accepted. Which I did get a deal on him. Derek Stepan accepted, that is good. JT Miller accepted. Awesome, I got another good deal on him. Carl Hagelin accepted. Oscar Lindbergh accepted. Rejected. Your roster is full. Okay. Our roster is full for our rookies. We will get them Joe Fleshler to accept. Let's go ahead and clear some room for them. We do want to, no matter what, we need them to play this season. We need them to progress. Let's get rid of... We just picked him up from Edmonton, so we're going to go ahead and release him. Danny Crisco. He was our scratch line player, so we're going to go ahead and release him as well. See what else we got going here. Let's go ahead and get rid of We're rid of Bork. Release Bork. We will also James Shepard. We'll go ahead and sign James James Shepard for about another year, maybe. He wants two years. He's pretty cheap, so we'll go ahead and snag him for two years. We'll put him on two way. That way we can drop him down to the AHL if we have to. We'll just use him as the go-to guy if we need somebody. Bird, or tender his, or qualify. Or release him. Mueller, we gotta release him as well. Matt Hunwick, he was a good go-to. I have not yet decided. Crab, we're going to release Crab, though. Alright, let's go ahead and sign our rookies now. All skaters. Unsigned. We're going to go ahead and scout. sign the future of our franchise right now. Blake Clark. We gotta give Blake Clark a his entry level. Let's try this again. Thomas Konechi. We gotta give him his entry level. And then Lawson Kra Lawson Kraus. We'll give him his entry level as well. And we'll go ahead and advance today and see where we get to then. We do have quite a while before the free agency opens up. We do have, we still have a lot of cap space to work with. Real advance today. All the rookies should accept now. We do have room for them. James Shepard, oh, there we go. Lawson Krause accepted. Thomas Konechi accepted. Blake Clark accepted. Nice. All right, let's see who else we have to work with we sign players we do want to keep some cap space for we do have about 10 mil in cap space we that, we have to sign Keith Handel yet what okay we do have some people we need to sign for sure I do not want know why we didn't 
to sign them yet, but we have to sign our defense. I don't see them. Keith Yendel. Okay, they're good this year. That's next season. It ends. Matt Koska. We'll get a... We're tent we'll qualify him. Let's see if there's any medium potential people. He's still young, so we'll go ahead and qualify his offer. This is our defense. We're gonna get rid of. We're gonna get rid of Hunwick, Matt Hunwick. He was good backup for us, just in case someone got injured. But he did leave a giant gaping hole in our defense that we needed to get filled, and I'm looking to fill that in free agency coming up. We're gonna try. If there's nobody in free agency, we're gonna trade up to get a really good deep man. All this, we're tendered. We'll qualify everyone's offer. That way, we do have some cap space to go snag people in free agency. We'll go ahead and re we will release Costco. I thought I already released him. Because it says he will not get any better. Alright. We will sign them if we need them. Klingberg. We will... We will qualify him. We do have some depth now. And I like this. We have depth on our forward positions. Left wingers. All our left wingers are signed. That's very nice. Carl Haglin is leading our left wingers. And I believe Carl Haglin will get better. Same with JT Miller. Centers. Most of our centers are signed. We do have a lot of centers. So we might not have to worry about signing any more right now. Goalies. Alright, this is the thing with our goalies. Joe Fleschler, I want him to start in the AHL. Problem is, we have more people who could start in the AHL. I want Joe Fleschler to progress. I want him to be worth all those trades we did in the draft. We could trade him. Which, he's signed already. Let's see... He looks like he could be pretty good. Every all our go we have good young goaltenders. There's him. He's not young. He's about to be 30. But we need someone to back up Hendrick Lundqvist who does have experience in the NHL. So we're gonna keep him. I say we're tender his qualifying offer. We would keep him unsigned. If we need him, we'll sign him. Besides that, I think we're already hit free agency. I know it's still a few more sims away. Let's see. Let's make sure everybody will accept their contracts. And then we'll go ahead and we'll hit up free agency. And maybe make a big blockbuster sign if we have to. Advanced day. Alright, we're just going to go ahead and advance it to free agency. Which is only three days away. We signed everyone we needed to. So we should be good. Today's last chance uh center, John Albert. This is your last chance to negotiate rights with him. That's fine. We have too many centers as it is. That's why I didn't sign him. We want to make sure we get money. Carl Klingberg accepted our offer. Alright. 
let's go to free agency and pick up some people. I'm pretty sure there's going to be some big people in free agency. There should be. After all the team moves and everything that go on during the draft. Must be a lot of free agents still loading. Ooh, free agency is not looking good. I was hoping for better. This is I was expecting bigger names in free agency. We do need defense. This is we do have 10 million dollars in cap space we do need a defenseman we could get Marcus Zinglicky which he is older but he is a veteran we could get Petrie forwards we don't really need any forwards we could get Barrett Jackman I see him in there we don't really need any forwards we our forwards seem to be fine Let's see who they have for goalies. Maybe we can find a better backup. Nope. Seems like our backup will be fine. Well. It looks like I'm going to be signing probably Jeff Petrie. Yeah, it looks like Je either Jeff Petrie. We could try to pick up Quite a few D man. Let's go ahead and try, get try to get Jeff Petrie or Joe. Pe I don't know what his first name is. I know it's a J. There's a lot of teams interested in him. He has no potential. So what he is is what he is. But we do need someone to fill a hole in our third defensive line. I don't want to make this crazy. Let's go ahead and give him 57. Three years. Offer contract. Hopefully we'll take that contract. If not, if not we'll trade up to get somebody. It's no big deal. There's still a lot of good deep men we can trade to get. I'm pretty sure he should take that offer though. We gave him... We just paid a lot for someone who's... Won't get that much ice time. But if I have to, I'll move him. It's advanced day. See if he'll take our offer. Nope. Advanced day again. Nope. Bans it again. Nope. Alright, he might take it here. And we have him. We overpaid for him. But we do have a D-man. Possibly go on our second line. We can leave Calvin Klein on the third. He can play with... Mark Stahl? Well, I don't know. Dan Boyle seems to be fine. We'll, we'll make room for him, though. We overpaid for him, but we will make room for him. go ahead and let's go ahead and sim to the end of this pretty good draft we did though I believe our first draft was pretty good we don't have any draft picks now for the upcoming draft but if we need them we will acquire them because I'm I understand you like to keep People that keep their first round pick. Alright. Our restricted free agents starting to accept now. But if we do it this way, we'll be able to get more people now. And we can be a playoff contender team. We were a playoff contender team. But we were we were knocked out of the playoffs way before I, I believe we could have won the Stanley Cup with the team we had. Oh, we got a trade. Nicholas Backstrom. Hmm. Wonder why. 
Why Nicholas Backstrom? Did his overall go down or something? 81 overall. Could be our backup. For two young people. Okay. I'm going to have to edit our trade block too because the people we just picked up are on our trade block. Um, where did I climb this? To climb. Okay. They want to move Nicholas Backstrom pretty good. And they want some of our people. When I stop simming, I'll go ahead and R. Edit our trade block to get those two people off of our trade block because we are not trading those people no matter what. And again, we don't want Nicholas Backstrom. Again, Minnesota is the only person shooting us trades here. It's for the same people. Alright. Let's go edit the trade block. Now I understand this video will be running really long. But this is what it's going to be in the off season. Trade block. It's right here. Edit trade block. Yeah, no. Our three top draft picks are not on the trade block here. But what we will do for our trade block just to generate some trades here see what we can do we're going to throw we could throw Jeff Petrie on the trade block serve by overall see we have a nice depth defense now we got our first line our second line and our third line we didn't need to pick up Jeff Petrie, because I want Cliff Bomb to get some minutes in the NHL. So he can progress better. We'll go in and we'll throw Dan Girardi on there. We'll throw any forwards that we could possibly get some trade good trades for. We could throw Could throw Kevin Hayes on there. Because they have Kevin Hayes in the AHO. Why do they have Kevin Hayes in the AHO? I'm going to have to look at the lines. Do we have that good depth now? We're definitely going to put James Shepard on there. Okay, so we nobody really jumped up on our team in overall, it looks like. Throw Kevin Hayes on there. We do have really good depth for center and defense. We do want... We do want picks. We just want first and second picks. First and second picks. Future. Because we don't have any. Oops. <laughs> That's fine. Alright. I'm going to go ahead and end the video here, you guys. Uh, thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the draft. And... The resign season, which I did in the same light night to get them out of the way. Now, this season's going to be different. I'm going to make my videos a little bit shorter so we can get more out of it. Expect me to send in only one month per video. Or if it's a trade on the deadline, it'll be a video just of the trade deadline if we do some trades and stuff like that. If you have any ideas for trades, please leave it in the comments down below. Any person you think we should move to get some of our players out of the AHO. And any people you want me to pick up, do you think maybe we should put Joe Fleshler in the NHL? Comment it. Do something. 
give me some feedback on this team anyone you guys want go ahead put it in the comments and I'll check them out for you guys show them the overalls you guys want to see some overalls of other players and see how they progress anyways comment subscribe all that good stuff this is Demonic Dougie here and I'll talk to y'all later